What's wrong, guys? Boy, Patty Trills, AK Young Johnny Bravo, AK. I'm tired as fuck, AK. Tired as fuck. Uh, so this is the battle for week two of the WBE going against uh, James of the Beak. This is the team builder. Then obviously, if you guys don't want to watch the team builder, I'll be stamping when the battle starts down in the description down below. But if you guys want to see what I bring, why I bring it, explain why, then sure. Uh, so. Looking at his team, homeboy has uh, Corviknight, Conkelder, Amungus, Rotomwash, Delmize, Reboot, Rhyperior, Umbreon, Clefairy, Frostlass, and Torricat. So, um, looking at his team, his team is dummy thick with Corviknight being annoying, Amungus Regenerator is annoying, Rotomwash is always thick, Rhyperior can be thick, Umbreon is fucking Umbreon. So, uh, big threats. Uh, Corviknight could be a threat. Um, Conkelder can obviously be an issue. Rotom Wash is... Offensive Rotom Wash kind of actually does my whole entire team in, low-key. Um, so hopefully he doesn't bring that, because it'd be nice. Uh, and then uh, Umbreon can obviously just sit there, and it's like a, it's a pretty solid Necrozma counter. So we have to kind of work around that. But um, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm bringing, why I'm, why I'm bringing it, hopefully gives us the best chance to win. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are excited, please show your support. Smash like button. Support is appreciated. I can't talk. Your support is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, so let's just let's just jump into uh, the team and see what we got. So with the team, we got Joe Mama, the Jolteon, uh, with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Toxic, Shadow Ball, Toxic for the Umbreon. I know the Umbreon can run uh, synchronized, but most likely we'll probably run an Inner Focus just because I have. Me and Xiao and all that shit running around and uh, Incineroar and stuff like that. So, like, it probably doesn't want to take, like, the fake out damage and then possibly be in the range of, like, HAK or Drain Punch or, you know, whatever, um, depending. So, um, if I run Toxic on the Umbreon, I can get chip damage on it. Even if it is synchronized and he Toxics me back or he I get poisoned back from it, that's fine. I'm not really tripping on it. Um, but yeah, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, uh, Toxic Shadow Ball, Speed Crypt to outspeed as fast as Mom, which is Frost Slats, uh, and then Max Special Attack, uh, and then the rest into HP, which I don't know what the fuck that even reads. What? It, why is the EVs an entire website link? What the fuck is this? Okay. Random, but okay. Um... So yeah, Volt Switch, oh yeah, I already said it. Okay, so then going on to the next one is Nefri. Uh, weakness policy, kind of the same set as last week, but this one is the more physical side. So it's Dragon Ant, Zack Scissor, Photon Geyser, and Heat Wave. Because obviously Photon Geyser can either go physical or special depending on um, who its stat is higher. So since I'm running more an attack investment and I de-dance, and obviously if weakness policy pops off, then Photon Geyser is super heavily physically offensive and at plus three, Minus Umbreon, I don't think anything lives. No, Corviknight, I think, takes like 80% or some shit really like that. But obviously, uh, we have Heat Wave for that as well. Because um, I'll be at plus two weakness policy pops off, and Heat Wave should do the Corviknight in. Um, so, yeah. Speed Crept as well. Um, so, with one D dance, I'm faster than Frostlass. And uh, I think that's it. Because I'm base 100 now with my spit. With my spread which outspeeds defensive rotom also outspeeds uh that's it yeah defensive rotom that's about it uh like anything that's actually like important not like other ones so um that's for net free so now we got sega genesis which is uh gonna be our flyer this week just because i feel like uh right period earthquake kind of is a little too free um especially because i right period can hit decently hard um so I thought the flying version probably better, and obviously multi attack, which becomes flying, uh, will do well for Amoongus, uh, Delmize, Conkelder, stuff like that. And then Defog to get hazards off, and then Flamethrower for the Corviknight, because Corviknight's obviously a problem. I don't want to see Corviknight this week, but I don't see why it doesn't come. I think Corviknight's a little too free. IMO. But um, so now we're going to Milady. Um, sorry if I'm trying to do this uh, team prep a little bit faster than last week. Last week I. You know, I thought it was a very well prep. I think I definitely took way too long to explain. Um, so now we got Milady with uh, U-turn, Blaze Kick, Drain Punch, and Bulk Up. Uh, bulk Up just because I can bulk up in front of the right period. Um, because then I live the EQ. Then obviously Drain Punch, or if he thinks that HJK will kill. Um, I can obviously bulk up in front of the Umbreon. Um, I can bulk up in front of a lot of things. 
Um, obviously, don't outspeed uh, the Frost Slash from Speed Crep to outspeed his Reboot, because obviously Reboot is the problem, but like Sucker Butch is a thing. And obviously, Scarf's Reboot is definitely a thing. So, yeah, U turn, Blaze Kick, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Blaze Kick for the Amoongus, Blaze Kick for Corvid Knife. It's like on, in the middle of a switch. Uh, if I'm like not trying to be too safe with the Drain Punches. Um, but yeah, and then U turn to Pivot, obviously, get the Regenerator back. Show Lurk, because to go lurk uh choice band iron fist with drain punch fire punch earthquake and poltergeist poltergeist just because everything on his team should have an item and i'm not running knockoff on a single mon so poltergeist is pretty free unless it's a consumable item but looking at his team i don't really see anything that's a consumable item like i don't see any mon that's gonna rock like a certain kind of berry or you know uh like a one-time move like throat spray or etc you know i don't i don't really see that with this team so i think poltergeist especially bandit's pretty free uh, then obviously speed crept to outspeed Umbreon by a little bit. Because I don't think he's going to run any investments into Umbreon. Um, no, I'm also here to outspeed something else. It's Umbreon and what else? Umbreon and Corviknight. Yes. Yeah, it's Umbreon and Corviknight. I'm speed crept to outspeed Umbreon and Corviknight with some investments. Just in case if they were to invest a little bit, I still outspeed. Uh, like if they had 4, or 12, or 16 left over, like I still outspeed. So... Uh, yeah, Drain Punch, Fire Punch, Earthquake, Poltergeist, and then Alcascone, or uh, Alcremie, which I don't think it's going to be the Rainbow one, it's just going to be a Alcremie, with uh, Mystical Fire, Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, and Acid Armor. Um, Acid Armor, because if I get the Acid Armor before the Corviknight comes in, I actually beat him 1v1. Uh, and then also, just because uh, Giga Drain for the Rotom Wash, uh, Dazzling Gleam for the stab to hit everything, and then a uh, Mystical Fire for like the Corviknight, the Amoongus, the... Delmise, et cetera, et cetera, so I don't get completely walled out and stuff like that. But that's the team prep. That's who we're bringing. Hopefully, uh, it does pick up the dub. Um, so we'll be jumping to the video. If you guys have any questions or any, like, maybe tips or any other, like, builds or any, like, you know, that you want to put in the comment section, please put it down there. I always try to read all the comments. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys in the video. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. You guys are going to be trails. Well, I'm not out because the video's at this. But yeah, enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's your boy Patty Trills, a.k.a. Young Johnny Bravo, a.k.a. Uh, Coach of Sin City Scissors. Looking at his team, he's brought the Conkeldor. He's brought the Rotom Wash. He's brought the Umbreon. He's brought the Frostlass. He's brought the Rhyperia. He's brought the Amoongus. Right, which... Kind of expected those six to come, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the frost last was a little bit of a little bit of a heat pick, I guess. But the other five, I, I figured. If you guys saw the team prep uh, before this video, like obviously played right before it, then you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I think his lead is honestly probably full switch Rotom Wash, or even. Uh, Or so I think I'm just gonna lead off with uh, Milady and just U-turn out, and we can just go into positions from there. Because if he leads like Rotom, then I can U-turn into into Al Cream. Uh, depending if the Rotom's offensive or defensive or not. If it's offensive Rotom, I actually kind of have a hard time with, just because I don't have that many Rotom checks. Well, it's I I do have Rotom checks. It's like like it's in the team prep. I, I believe a lot of my Rotom checks, not my Rotom checks, a lot of my Rotom checks happen to also get uh, nanade by his other mon, so he's good coverage around the Rotom. So hopefully it's not hyper offensive. That'd be nice. Uh, so let's go into the Mien Show. He sets off. Oh, he just leads immediately into that. Uh, what is this, uh, Rhyperior? He's probably gonna set off rocks. Earthquake has a chance to kill, obviously, but if I bulk up, then it's a 66. It'll plus one, 73. Okay, yeah. I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna bulk up turn one. I, out, I live. Whatever he throws at my way, he's going to withdraw. I get a free plus one anyways. Goes into gone. I'm assuming is Oh, okay. So, obviously, I revealed that I'm bulk up already. Which is tough. So, I'm plus one now. Obviously, I know Amoongus uh, 
is like mad defensive. <sighs> See, that's the thing. I could, Blazeek does a lot. If he's not defensive at all, uh, Blazeek actually has a good chance to kill, but I'm just gonna assume he is. So I'm just gonna U-turn out. I am plus one. Uh, so plus one U-turn, let's just say his max defense does bold. U-turn does about 25%. So that's not bad. Obviously, I feel like he's going to freely spore here. I'm going to have to just go straight into all cream even at that point. Um, and that does a little over 25%. So that tells me he's not max defense. It tells me he has some spit up into him. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go straight into Alcascone. Al Alcascone. So I pronounce it. I don't know. I would say my names half the time. Alcascone. Oh, it goes to the clear smog. Okay. That's that's a decent play. See, I was it's just in the off chance he was trying to put me to sleep. That's fine. See, so he's clear smog. So we know he has clear smog. Um Yeah, so he's got clear smog. Which I could tell by your spread depending how much that is. Clear smog just twenty to 31 depending on the spread on 127 which is about 25 percent after the lefties or 26 that's a lefty so he probably has some special attack investments um that's fine um obviously i expect like the steel type move to to come up um i could actually just go straight back into show lurk um or what's my time left 15 seconds Fuck. Alright, uh... Fuck. Uh, yeah, I think I just go into Show Lurk. I mean, it's kind of a bad play, obviously. But, like, Clear Smog does nothing. Sludge Bomb does nothing to me. He could read and go for the Giga Drain. This is the Sludge Bomb, that's what I figured. Okay, cool. He gets the Poison. Good to know. Alright, so this should just kill straight up. Like, Fire Punch should just straight up kill. Um, go into Pokemon. Read the room. See what he's got. He's got the right period and everything chilling. So that's not bad. So I'm just going to go straight for the Fire Punch. Like I said, should kill. I mean, obviously it has a roll to kill, but the roll um, is pretty even because it does max 79%. This is max HP, max defense, which is we have proved that he's not. Um, cause that's about 33%. So that, that tells me that he was, oh, he's going to withdraw. Cool. Banded damage. Let's see what you got. Since I'll kill I like all the Hunter Hunter references, by the way. So fire punch. We'll see how much this does. Like I said, I'm banded. So that's about 25%. And he's lefties, which tells me he's probably going to be more defensive. So let's say it's utility. Fire punch. Okay, yeah. All right, so. Oh, no, no. I got to switch out. I feel like Hydro Pump's just. I feel like Hydro Pump is like that or Will O Wisp is super free. Um, so, if that's the case, I'm. I. Who's taking a pump? I guess Nefri. No one. No one's really taking a pump. I, but I have to worry about... Yeah, I got to worry about the uh, Willow as well. Like, Willow's too free. I can't go into Nefri because it obviously compromises him. So if I take... So if this takes the Willow, that's fine. Um, I go straight for the pump. He lands. Let's we'll see how much this does, actually. 83%. That is 52%. Hydro Pump does about 44 to... Okay, so he's probably not that invested. Okay, now I'm at 92, which is definitely more than what Pump can do. So Pump actually doesn't kill. So I actually win the 1v1 here. Um, which I don't think he's going to stay in, but I'm just going to elect the Toxic anyways. Uh... 
Looking at his team, minus the Amoongus. Oh, he just elects to stay in. That's so crazy. Does he think pump kills? Oh, he nasty plots. Oh, shit. Okay, pump definitely kills now. It's a nice plus two. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything lives now. Low key, I think everything kind of dies. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna volt switch out. Get some damage off. He's a little bit below 50%. Oh, I don't outspeed either. That's tough. I mean, I guess I can draw Balkus gone. <clears throat> this no, I land that's fine probably kills Alcascon I actually didn't need Alcascon too much just because I mean the Umbreon's a problem but it is what it is like Alcascon was mostly there for This drain punch kill, cause what's his health at? Oh, I oh I can't tell now. It's below half, I know that. Doesn't kill. Tough. Like I said, I can go back into this, but like that just that just cries for him to come out. I mean I guess I got nothing to lose, whatever. Oh, Drain Punch definitely killed that. Yeah, for sure. It's fine. Go back into Joe Mama. Hit him with the T-Bolt. And like I said, if 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 Rhyperior wants to come in, that's fine. Here comes yeah, here comes here comes the Rhyperior. That's fine. He's gonna get the lightning rod. I'll take the one turn of lefties. Swap. I'm going to go into my Savali. My Savali is a flying type. We take those. And if he wants to get the rocks up right now, I can defog out. Okay, so the plan is I'm probably going to go into Savali on the EQ. Or if he rocks right now, then I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll do that later. So Okay, so he gets the rocks up. Okay. That's probably not the play. I, I no, that's probably not the play. I just realized what I did. Yeah, that's probably not the play. Uh, yeah, I parting shot, but to fucking what? Because like Umbreon literally. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm down to put a Toxic on it, so if I put a Toxic on myself, that's fine. Oh, 
I'll throw another Toxic. Like I said, he can go into Rotom again, but then Rotom dies the next turn. And I'm cool putting a Toxic on the Umbreon. I guess that was a decent... I mean, it wasn't a great play. That was him pulling out probably because he doesn't know that I'm Savali flying. He might think that I'm Savali water or something like that. So I land the Toxic. I know it's going to probably synchronize back onto me. It is what it is. Oh, he heal bells. Turn one. Crazy. I'll toxic again. Why not? I ain't tripping on it. You're minus one. You can't do shit to me. goes for his own toxic that's funny <laughs> boom all right I'm a volt he's probably gonna heal bell right now which is fine on that it puts Umbreon that that Volt did like about So he's about 75-isk percent, obviously, depending on whatever his threat is. Because it's telling me that he's more physically defensive than specially defensive. I mean, Drain Punch still does a shit ton of damage. Not a big deal. I could see him obviously going straight into the Frostlass, which I might bait out. So he withdraws, right? If it's Frostlass, I should have went for the Blaze Kick. Gone. That is Amoongus. That's fine. He has Regenerator. I forget. Can I fucking type, please? Jesus Christ. Why does, it, why does that do absolutely nothing? Jeez. Jesus. Why does that do nothing? I just don't, I don't know. Poltergeist thing's coming, right? Okay. Because who's he going into now? I mean, obviously Umbreon comes in and eats it for free, but like... He withdraws. Does he go into Umbreon? Does he make that read? He does. No, he doesn't. Oh, that, yeah, never mind. He dies. That's a pretty hard animation. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty hard. Show Lurk out here putting in the work. Conkelder hasn't even 
made it to the feud yet. Yo, his team is thick, dude. Amoongus, Rotomwash, Umbreon, Rhyperior. God, what a fat team. What a fat team, bro. Like, that's why. Here's the, I'm trying to find a spot for Necrozma to come in for, like, free. And I think if... Say Shadow Balls, that, that's probably going to kill me, actually. Yeah, it's always oh, it a crit, that's why. Did that kill normally? I don't think that did, actually, because I had a lot of bulk in me. Uh, I don't think Shadow Ball killed, no. No, I did not, actually. I mean, unless, no, yeah, no, that's max special attack. Yeah, no, Shadow Ball didn't kill, actually. That crit mattered. It'd be like that sometimes, whatever. It is what it is. I ain't really got anything else. Ow. Hit me with the shadow ball. You have to. He withdraws, okay. How much does this do now? Cause I know foul play obviously is a thing. Oh, foul play does not kill. Foul play does not kill, actually. So that's good to know. Can I get a crit? That'd be sick. Just don't crit. 10 HP, let's go. Obviously, I think Con Kelder comes in for free, but Umbreon gone helps. Unless for, I don't see why Con Kelder would never not have fucking Mock Punch. Okay, good shit. So X Scissor did about 25% at plus three. Which tells me he is like max defense. Yeah, okay. So Photon Geyser kills. So that's cool. It's good to know. Splig X. Yo, what the? Yo, oh, he lives. I might. Rhyperior at level 50. Solid rock. Max HP. Max defense. Bold? Hey, 
It's saying Photon Geyser in the count is 99.5 to 117.1 at plus three. Bro, what? Oh, shit! Did I press A in time? That's not a bad play, I guess. Whatever. The 60 seconds is really fucking garbage, by the way. I don't know if I've stressed that enough in competitive battling, but literally 60 seconds per... Hey, we're about to go to timer. I actually just lose. I just straight up lose. Watch, he's gonna go into Frost Last right now. I guess not. That blows. I don't understand how. I, I don't get how he lived that. I I sincerely don't understand how he lives that. Right period. Max HP, max defense. At level 50. To a Necrozma at plus three because I D-dance and weakness policy pops off. Does a minimum of 99. How the fuck did he live that? It did like 50%. Is it not? Because I know Photon Geyser is like, oh, it's physical if your attack's higher and not special. I wonder if the calc was wrong and it was calcing his special side. Even though my physical, I don't know. I don't fucking get it. I don't know. I'm not saying that costed me, obviously, but I'm just saying, like, that was. I mean, I I lose the timer, which is great, I guess. That's the sick. And I... Wow. Not to, uh, not to, um, James Speed, obviously. Not the clapping to him. No, I think he played well. I thought he played great. I'm not mad on how he played. I just think, like, Pokemon. Why couldn't you keep 60-minute timers? I don't get it. I just don't get it. And I miss that Blaze kick. Like, come on, bro. Come on now. That's so whack. Uh, but good game, bro. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, like, obviously, we'll be checking out his side of the battle. This should be going up on time on Saturday. Um, shout out to Dan James with the Beak. Um, appreciate you, homie. Uh, had a good had a good game. Uh, obviously, I misplayed a shit ton. Um, but to be completely honest, even me doing all those turns right, I don't think I beat that team below timer. I don't think so. No, no, I don't. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I think I'd have to pull some little crazy hoop plays, like cutting corners and predicting predicts, predicting predictions, um, to to try to beat that. I, I noticed, like, I don't know if you guys noticed my energy, but I noticed, like, energy. I noticed, like, five minutes deep or like ten minutes deep into the battle, I was like, yeah, I'm not winning this one. Like, I'm not, I'm not beating this. I'm going to timer, and of course it happened. But anyways. Uh, Pokemon Fix Your Game. Uh, appreciate you guys. Definitely check all links in the description down below. Week three, we'll be going against our boy Chimpact. Hopefully, we can scoop that one up. You guys are the best. Definitely check all links in the description down below. Twitch, Twitch merchandise if you're into that. And with that being said, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You guys are my Patty Trills. I'm out. Oh, yoga.